Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be reacting to season one, episode six. I hope this episode's as good as the previous one. Let's jump in and watch the next episode, okay? Hey, he's wearing the same. Yes. I need a brown shirt now. First, the Demon Slayer Core uniform you're wearing is made with a special kind of fiber. It, it's that strong? Impressive, hmm? Now, as for the Nichirin sword, its color varies from owner to owner. However, there aren't many Demon Slayers with black blades, so little is known about them. Some believe they're a bad omen. What does that mean? Black blades are rumored to only be wielded by a swordsman who has little chance of going very far. Oh well, I don't care if I'm destined for greatness. Because no matter what, I'll turn Nezuko back. Yes, you will. I have no doubt you'll make that happen. Thank you. One last thing here. A box to carry your sister during the day. Nezuko, hop in for a ride. Pretty please. Yeah, she must have turned into a doll. As small as a doll to fit in that. Nezuko? This is only a guess, but I believe Nezuko can recover her strength by sleeping instead of consuming human flesh as other demons do. Poor thing. He doesn't look good. Well, he was up next to Sazuka when she was taken. He's in shock. There's still a faint scent of the demon here. But it's uneven. Something's off. How dare you! You lost her! You bastard! That's enough! Honey, please, stop! That actually wasn't even his fault. Purecito. He needs to put his sister as bait. Since she's a demon, she pro she knows how to protect herself. They're only active at night. So, there's no time for rest. That's right. Wait a second. Don't tell me you're a... Are you a... Oh, they're gonna get her from right there. Gonna suck her through the freaking mattress. What did I say? Right through the mattress, I said. Did he feel that? Hey, where are you going? Was he able to sense that? The scent got stronger. Oh, yeah, yeah. How'd he do that? He's a demon. Demon? Then he's... They're right here. Two cents. One demon, one human girl. The scent is strongest, right? Boom. Here. Ah. <gasps> <gasps> 
Did he stop her by accident? Nice. But you got a piece of her clothing. What did you do with the girls you kidnapped? Who was that? I need your help. Hold her for me and stay close. As long as you do that, I can protect you. Where? I wouldn't be surprised if it could appear out of thin air. It doesn't matter. Because even if it's submerged, it can't erase its scent. Now. Water breathing. Fit form! Ah! Take it easy. Unless that demon could clone itself. Eighth form! First demon there ever was. He's been here for more than a thousand years. He's your target, the one who attacked your family. More importantly, I believe he's also the one who might know how to turn your sister back into a human. Ooh. That demon's name is. Screams? Muzan Kibutsuji. My name is Ah. Ooh. I missed. They all have the same exact scent. So it's a clone. The demons don't work together. Which means one demon has split into three. Mm -hmm. Total concentration. Oh, water breathing. Second form. Water wheel. Missed again. <sighs> Move out of the way, you little punk. The girl's 16 already. She's losing flavor by the second. If we don't need her soon, there won't be any left at all. I've already feasted on plenty of this town's 16 year old girls, and every one of them was meaty and delicious. I am satisfied with that. Satoko. Which one was that? If her hairpin is in this collection, then I'm afraid I've already eaten her. Aww. Again, he moves so fast. <gasps> Why in the world would a demon be traveling with a mere human? Nice. What's the meaning of this? Who are these two? Why would a swordsman and demon be working together? I don't know if this will be of any comfort or not, but while Nezuko was asleep, I used hypnotic suggestion on her. What for? I convinced her that all humans are her family. I told her to protect them. The demons are your enemies. <laughs> Nezuko! 
If a demon hearts are human, never forgive them! So that was episode 6 of Demon Slayer and I do admit that the episodes keep on getting better and better as they go along. I'm glad that Nezuko ended up helping her brother towards the end. But yeah, when he, they were talking about the black sword, I wasn't really sure where they were going with it. So basically the unluckiness, it goes to who? To the one who made the sword or the one who carries the sword? Like, because he said that there was an omen when it came to a black sword. Now, with the, with the, the black sword, there, there hasn't been many people that have gone far with the black sword. Are we going to be seeing more and more about that concept of the black swords and the people who wield it? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right. So like I said, it was a great episode. I enjoyed it. So I thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. God bless you. Bye. <laughs>forgot to say it on my other video but i'm wearing my tundra well it's not mine it's my son so when i saw it i told him to give it here i'm wearing this to show my support to tanjiro and he wasn't even wearing the same kimono i was let me say that again and he wasn't even wearing the same kimono that i was he was wearing some other kimono so i'm still wearing it just to show my support